Hey collectors, Anthony from HashesNet here, and today we're going to take a look at Transformers Legacy Kickback, a member of the Insecticons, as, as that is a division of the Decepticons, and this deluxe figure actually looks pretty good compared to his previous version during the Prime Wars. Now, if you may remember, the Insecticons landed on Earth millions of years before the Decepticons and Autobots woke up on the Ark. So when we get back, we're going to take a look at this guy. And here we are looking at Transformer Generation Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback. And to the right is his Transformers Prime Wars. Oh, I want to say, I don't think it's Combiner Wars, maybe Titans Return Core Class Kickback. So uh, they had released during, again, I think Titans Return, all three Insecticons. So obviously, if, if they did that before, then one would assume that all three will eventually be released. So uh, before we take a look at these guys, let's put them aside here and take a quick look at the box. Uh, of course, kickback in his grasshopper slash locust mode. Uh, nice side panel, the back here, and uh, the normal usual legacy panel. Inside the box is the cardboard insert that holds them in there. The instructions, which the Decepticons and Legacy, the instructions are a lot easier to read than the Autobots. I think it's just because of the color uh, differences in the instructions themselves. Uh, it just makes it super simple to read. And of course, they don't hurt yourself papers. So as you see, the kickbacks here are two different beasts. Uh, I use that lightly. They're insects, obviously. And um, the size difference and the detailing difference is quite notable. And uh, you can see the changes they've made since, let's see, what is this? This is 2014, uh, 2015, 2016, 2017, maybe. And this is 2021. And uh, here's some nifty changes here. Although the fact that they kind of combined the head here and, and here, the insect head is separate from the bot head. I, I, I'm torn because obviously that would be preferred for this figure, but they've just combined them instead. I don't know what to think about it. Because it means he has no eyes. Like, it's weird, right? Anyway, um, he is a lot of waffle. But he's a core class figure. Like, he, he retailed for like 9 bucks or whatever it was. And uh, he's okay. We're going to stick him aside. So looking at him, he has these Energon shield thingies. Um, they go onto his wings in his transformed state. Uh, of course, he gets a gun. Which, which mounts onto his chest in transform state. And you can see clearly the bug parts sticking out here. Uh, they hide a lot better than the, uh, the Prime Wars version. And um, unlike the Prime Wars version, his chest doesn't open up for anything. Although there's like this hinge here, and it makes me think it does. But uh, I haven't been able to get it to do anything. Because there's like little tabs here. Hmm. Anyway, we got oh, just a bunch of bug going on here. So his transformation is basically you just flip him on his backside, like you twist his head, and you um, you f move up his arm here, you flip down this bit here, do the same thing on the other side. Voila, we're almost already done. Uh, you want to move the wings. Uh, Move it in the bag. I don't know why I went the long way. I could have just done this. See, already. Yeah. The gun actually goes here in the chest. And it actually fits rather perfectly. Because yeah, this would be the level in which you, you know, match everything up. His feet uh, fold up into, or his toes fold up into his shins. Then, of course, you pull out the, uh, the insect feet. Then you turn and move the toes off onto a ball point here. And as you may or have already figured out, you gotta do some knee bends. So here is our target. You wanna lay him flat like this and kind of just fit him into position. Now the joints on the arms for this figure, at least for my version, is super tight, which uh, is really great when trying to get it to style, but his legs are super loose. So that's just a whole different bag of chips. Okay, so let's see if I can get his arm into a position that 
before I get too far on to the next part here, I wanted to point out something that I keep forgetting about, and I'm sure other people have forgotten about. There is actually a cover that covers up his face when he's in insect mode. Uh, doesn't really do too much for him, because, I mean, who's really looking down there? But uh, this cover is on a hinge that actually hides in the back here. Uh, so you just pull it out and cover his face after you've turned his head around. And that is simply all it is. Um, again, keep forgetting about it. Like, when you have him down like this, who's looking? These things uh, connect to the, these clips here. And uh, there's these slots in here that you kind of have to line up. See if I can get it to, there we go, it's one. And that's two. And they fit in there rather snugly. Uh, it's all that Energon gimmick that they're doing for the series. And he's very simple. I mean, we didn't do very much other than flip around a few parts. And uh, this is what he looks like top down. Here's his back. Um, so I'll show you the one thing I was talking about. Uh, this piece opens on him, which gives like a little cockpit or something. I don't know. It doesn't like seem to be anything. It might be a Declan thing. Because obviously there is a hinge here. And uh, I'm not quite sure why. With that said, I'm going to transform him and then we can compare that. So here are kickbacks, uh, Legacy and Titans Return uh, in front of you here. And um, this over the years has become super loose. So I've been lucky to be able to get it to at least stick somewhat together. But it'll fall apart eventually. And if I can hold him and hopefully he don't fall apart, uh, you can see the visual differences on the head. And the wings, I see the texturing is a lot more detailed, sort of like Waspinator from uh, Kingdom. You see the bottom here. And uh, so, I mean, obviously, trade offs have been made. Uh, this guy's a lot tougher to transform, and um, a lot more gaps. But uh, honestly, for, for a new take and a deluxe figure of a Insecticide, I'm actually pleased with it. Transformers Generation Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback. I mean, he's an Insecticon, so he's not hard to transform, so I get that. It's weird that his previous Titans Return version is actually a little bit more difficult, but hey, if it looks good, I, I kinda, the eyes missing is weird, but, um, I guess otherwise it's great. Let me know in the comments if you pick this guy up or do you have the previous version. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe.